you've been lifting four, five, even six days per week, and your gains still suck. Why is that? Because you need more rest. It's very simple. I don't understand why this is still complicated with all these videos. In this video, though, let me show you four different workout splits that you can do three times per week so you can get better gains and spend less time in the gym. Trust me, I was going to the gym five days a week and still looking like this. Then years later, I switched to three days a week and look at the results before I put on all my fluff in my recent bear mode physique. Way bigger and decently lean than when I was going all the time five times per week. Now let me erase this assumption in your mind. More in the gym is not always better and this is especially true as a beginner lifter. Lifting is a brand new stimulus to your body. So if you're going to grow with just a little bit of stimulus, don't go to the highest dose. It don't make sense. It's like coffee. You first start out with just a cup here and there for a little caffeine kick. Then you end up having one cup every day. Then you're having it in the morning and then the afternoon. And then suddenly you're having a whole pot. Why is that? Because you adapted to the caffeine over time. A little stimulus was enough in the beginning, and then it wasn't enough, and then you need a whole pot to get what you used to have. But you didn't start out drinking the whole pot, did you? A little bit of coffee was just enough in the beginning. And lifting weights, going to the gym, is the same. So stop going five times plus per week and lower your volume. Grow into your volume over time and don't smash up your body when you don't need to. Recovery and getting adequate nutrition is much more important than your training split in the beginning. And they still hold the same amount of importance, if not even more, the more advanced you get. Sleep and eating. I promise you, most of my games have come from training three days per week. Only this past year did I switch to five days per week to try it out. And guess what I'm doing now? I'm going back to three days a week, and now I'm running on my off days. So how can you do the same, which allows you to spend less time in the gym, have better recovery, and have better gains? Let's get into the workout splits. Workout split number one is, of course, a full body three times per week split. I bet none of you guys would have guessed that if you are subscribed to my channel. Big surprise, right? I'm not going to go in depth with this. I have my full big boy basics guide free on my website. I have the whole playlist right here. It's like over two hours, so I don't need to go into it. You can watch those to understand how I program the full body split. And if you still need help, feel free to book a call on my website at atalafit.com. If you like full body splits but need a different variation of the full body split, split number two is an HLM split, which means heavy, light, medium. Basically, you're programming all the heavy lifts on Monday, your squat, your bench, your deadlift, your overhead press. Then you rest the next day. And then Wednesday, you're doing light exercises since you just beat up yourself on Monday. So that looks like a lot of isolations, leg extensions, cable flies, lat pull downs, etc. Rest the next day, then Friday is your medium day where you're doing heavier lifts than Wednesday, but not as intense as the heavy day. So it would be like a leg press, a chest press machine, some type of row, and maybe a seated Arnold press, for example. Here's a sample workout I found online, and you can pause the video and look at it. If you do need a great guide on this type of workout, I put Stan Strength's video in the description for how to program an HLM split. Personally, I don't like all the heavy lifts in one day, which is why I programmed my Big Boy Basics full body workout with heavy lifts spread throughout the week. Again, that is free on my website. Split number three is an upper lower rotation. And this is very simple to program, but you program this over two weeks instead of one. Day one, you have your upper day rest, then you have a lower day rest, then you have an upper day again. And then the next week, switch the order because you're always alternating your workouts. So then you start with your lower day, rest, then your upper day, rest, then your lower day. Now you're not going to hit each body part three times per week if you do this, but you are still hitting the body part twice per week, once every two weeks. Volume is very manageable and it's really easy to program. Plus with this progressing into a standard upper lower split, when you become more advanced is very easy. Just add in the other workout day, then you're on a full upper lower split. So this is a great baby step towards the upper lower split. And you can see if you even like this training in this style. A bare bones sample workout could be on upper day, and this is just bare bones. You can do like a bench press, pull-ups, overhead press, and some curls. Lower day, you can do, let's say, barbell squats, leg curls, calf raises, abs, and then do the abductor, adductor machine. And then you're just going to alternate between these two days. You could also have two different upper workouts, two different lower workouts, or rotate between those as well if you want. So it looked like upper one on Monday, lower one on Wednesday, upper two on Friday. Then the week after you have lower two on Monday, upper one on Wednesday, and then lower two on Friday. So you're going to keep rotating 
them over and over if you want more variations in your workout. The fourth and final three day workout split is an upper lower full body split, which means Monday you do an upper workout, Wednesday you do a lower workout, the Friday you do a full body session. This way compared to the previous split, you are hitting the body parts guaranteed twice per week and you do have different workouts throughout the week, which makes things very interesting and can keep things fresh. So for example, we stuck with the bare bones upper workout. You do bench press, barbell row, overhead press, and curls. And then if we have the same lower workout, you do barbell squats, leg curls, calf raises, abs, and then the adductor, adductor machine. But now on your full body day, you could also do different movements like a Romanian deadlift, then a chest fly, then you can do pull-ups, lateral raises, and then let's say a tricep extension. This can add a nice variety of workouts throughout the week and you're still hitting things twice per week. I'm curious, have you guys tried any of these splits? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Of course, you know my favorite workout is the full body three times per week, but these are all decent alternatives if you don't like the way I program and I do take a little offense, but that's fine. If you don't even know where to start with lifting though, I have a full free guide right here and it's everything you need. Peace.